the, the World Bank estimates that by 2050, the mining industry will have to invest in an incremental 1.7 trillion US dollars into mm -hmm. mining expansion, infrastructure, associated processing capacity, and so on. Now, that sounds like a huge number, but for the mining industry, that is an incredibly huge number because our average annual capex is maybe $100 billion in the industry. So it's a tiny industry mm -hmm. that gets hit with this expectation to be doubling production capacity in a very short period of time. So there are challenges on organizational design, on, on, on human resources. The industry is very short of talent because 10 years ago, nobody cared. Right? It was an industry that was the, the people from the dark side of the moon. They're part of the problem as opposed to today. We're part of the conversation. We're part of the solution, or at least many people see us as that. So, so expanding the supply chain is going to be an incredible challenge. Um, but look, it's a great opportunity for business, and it's a great opportunity also for innovation. Um, because still today, the mining industry applies very much the same technologies in extracting and refining and processing and transportation that they did 10, 15 years ago. It's inherently a very conservative industry and we're trying to change that because innovation is going to make this industry so much more efficient and so much more capable in expanding and deploying capital in what is increasingly complicated, technically challenging jurisdictions and, and geographies, while at the same time trying to safeguard all the rules and, and requirements that, that are important under, under the ESG rules. So it's, um, it's, it's a big challenge, but it's a, it's, a, it's a great challenge and a great opportunity for, for, for technology companies, for innovators, for startups uh, to look at this industry and say, hey, this is, let's shake up this dinosaur a little bit and see what he can do.